Well, today we learned former Montana Republican Congressman Ron Marlinay died Sunday night in Bozeman. He was 84. Marlinay, a farmer and rancher from Scobie, won the Eastern District Congressional seat in 1976 and was reelected seven times. No other Montana Republican has served longer in the U.S. House. Now, Marlinay served in Congress back in the days when Montana had two seats in the U.S. House. His 16 years in Washington came to an end after the 1992 election when Marlene lost in a showdown with Western District Congressman Pat Williams. MTN's Jay Cohn takes a look back. And I guess my word to the people of Montana is that remain calm. Ron Marlene was elected as Montana's Eastern District Congressman in 1976, defeating Billings attorney Tom Tao in the general election. The Scobie wheat farmer would hold the seat for the next 16 years. On the Hill, he was known as a legislative loner who fought against federal control over state land. Billings newsman Dan Dubray served as Marlinay's press secretary beginning in 1989. When I was working with him, I know he put out an op-ed, an editorial piece. Why do I vote no as often as I do? I mean, <laughs> he, he got this uh, reputation as being Dr. No. And, and, and I think there's some truth to it is because uh, a lot of folks in Washington have never uh, met a problem that they can't solve with throwing other people's money at. And Ron was very wary about that. Marlene was deeply involved in ag issues. As a senior member on the House Agriculture and Interior Committees, he fought long and hard for family farms and small business owners, telling his staff, stay focused on the people who set us here. Dubray recalls perhaps the turning point in the telltale 1992 election against Pat Williams. Um, Ron Marlinay was very staunchly 100% with the National Rifle Association. He never showed up on a scorecard with a vote against the NRA. But you know what? Neither did Pat Williams. Pat Williams had a 100% voting record with the NRA. And when that race came down uh, to getting people involved, and in Montana, the NRA is a big in advertising, on your station, on radio stations, and in the newspaper, NRA sat on its hands. And I think Ron noticed that, and I think it, it, it mattered to him. When the dust cleared, Williams claimed a victory, and Marlinay's congressional career came to an end. His influence, though, on in the Montana political scene continues to this day. Ironically, this year's census may give Montana that second congressional seat back. How fitting that it might happen the same year that we pay our final respects to the last man to hold the title of Montana Eastern District Congressman. In Billings, I'm Jay Cohn reporting for MTN News. All right, thanks so much, Jay. Now, following his defeat in the 92 election, Marlene contemplated a run for the Senate against Max Baucus in 1996, but he decided against it and never again ran for public office.